What's up everyone? 3D Print 747 here back again with another video. Uh, so I was complaining a couple of weeks ago about not being able to do multicolor um, other than the flat prints that I was doing. Um, I just did this. It's from Hue Forge. Turned out great. Um, love it it's gonna go on the wall in a little bit um but i couldn't get 3d objects to work they were breaking they were um just messing up like when i say 3d i mean something that isn't flat like this obviously it's 3d but hopefully you all know what i mean so something like this so but with maybe red on top which is actually going to be my next test to see how that does. But what I tried, um, I've been printing these dragons um, for about a week now for family um, for Easter. I've got some eggs that I printed. Um, I think I talked about it in the last video. Um, this turned out really, really nice. Um, no problems with this at all. Uh, the only thing that occurred was having to clean up a little more on the bottom side. So see how it switched from blue to red. You can see that, right? Yeah. So that takes some cleanup and I mean, it can be done, but if you're going to give this to somebody, you don't want it to look like that. So you kind of want to clean it up. What I use is a dental tool. And I got this cheap off of Amazon. It came in like a pack of like six different tools. I've already broken this piece off um, on another project. And I mean, you can go in, you can scrape the things off, uh, get in there and, and break that out. So it works really well. Um, as long as you don't stick it through your finger or your hand, which, yeah, I'm not going to admit that I did that. But anyway, um, cleaning that up. But I'm going to try, the next print is going to be this same thing, but I'm going to try red on the spikes here and see how it turns out because I haven't had any luck with the multicolor um from the ams unit printing on another piece of the object that was a different color it's always like turned to mush it knocked the um print head off the the front of the print head knocked it off in one print um so i'm gonna give that a shot and i'll let you guys know how it turns out i mean this flexi dragon is awesome i don't forget where i got it maybe cults um but, yeah, once I get all this cleaned up, not too bad. Um, I also bought some uh, silk PLA. And you can see what that looks like. And it turned out nice. I mean, it's really pretty. Um, I'm really happy with the filament. I think I paid like 16 bucks for the filament. It's everyone, and I've mentioned that before in my other videos. Let me see um, how it's spelled here. E-R-Y-O-N-E. -E. Sorry. And it printed awesome. The only problem I had was I printed this at a 0 0.20 layer height and it fused together. So the neck broke off when I went to flex it. I was able to use the dental pick and get this all working and broken apart and the legs and the wings. But when I was working on the tail here, the head snapped, which I couldn't get it to... to 
break free anyway. And like I said, I used a 0 0.20 layer height. So what I'm doing now is I'm printing a different one at a 0 0.12 layer height, I think it is. Um, let me uh, double check. Bamboo Lab. The title. Uh, I think it's... Um, Sorry, another video started playing. Yeah, 0.12 millimeter layer height. And I think the 0 0.20 fused this together. It just, I don't know. Like, I can't break it apart, even with the dental tool. Like, it just doesn't want to move. I mean, you can see they're all separated on the bottom. One thing I had to do um, for all the dragons is... Uh, use a raft. I use a um, a raft because when I was printing these, they were lifting off the bed and then started moving off the bed. Um, and I didn't have a lot of luck. So there's definitely post-print cleanup that you got to do, at least I'm doing, um, with these dragons. And I've got a bunch of different colors. You can see um, and see this silk turned out good so I think that's because I used the um, lower layer height and look how small that is but it turned out awesome that is just a really awesome print so I'm going back and this and we'll see how it turns out I'll put it down in the comments um, once it's finished uh, and then I'm also gonna put after this video the um, time-lapse of what I call the Superman dragon only because it's blue and red and kind of reminds me of Superman so yeah so when you're printing things like this keep in mind the raft and keep in mind the layer height or else it can get you in trouble and cause that kind of an issue, mostly on flex issue on flex uh, pieces that are supposed to break apart um, after the print. I th see there you go. You can see all the junk in there, so that's why this wasn't flexing. So yeah, so. Just keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, I'll be back. Uh, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Getting really close to 20,000 views. Uh, I think we're up to 142 subscribers. So we're trying to get that up as well. Um, but yeah, if you have anything you want to see, and um, let me know in the comments. And we'll uh, work on it and get it printed. Thanks, everyone. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. 3D Print 747, I'm out of here.